Taking a live look now at the White House, all decked out for the holidays. The race for 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue's next president is heating up as we round out 2023. Former President Donald Trump is maintaining a polling lead on his competitors. And that's even as he's drawn criticism this weekend for some remarks on the campaign trail about immigrants. Fox's Mark Meredith has the latest on the race from New Hampshire. New Fox News polling shows former President Trump dominating among the Republican field and leading President Biden in a hypothetical rematch. Our new survey out today showing Trump would beat Biden by four points. Trump was in New Hampshire on Saturday. He had a lot to say about President Biden, his Republican uh, competition, but it was comments on immigration, which are generating fierce pushback from Democrats. You know, when they let... I think the real number is 15, 16 million people into our country when they do that. We got a lot of work to do. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. The Biden-Harris campaign putting out a statement afterwards saying he is betting he can win this election by scaring and dividing this country. He's wrong. In 2020, Americans chose President Biden's vision of hope and unity over Trump's vision of fear and division, and they'll do the same next November. This weekend, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, he's in Iowa barnstorming the state. Even as one of his most notable operatives, strategist Jeff Rowe announced he's leaving a DeSantis-aligned super PAC, and it's one of the many staff shakeups we've seen rattling the DeSantis operation in recent Recent weeks. As for former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, she heads to Iowa tonight after securing a major endorsement from New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu. And we heard from Governor Sununu today, and he says he believes that Haley is actually doing much better than the polls suggest. It's an absolute win. No, it's a, it's a win in a reset button. If everyone that could vote in the primary comes out and votes, not only she's going to win in a landslide, and, and that's not an exaggeration. This weekend, we're also hearing from former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. He's now going after Nikki Haley right here in New Hampshire. He says he believes Haley is enabling Trump because she's been less openly critical of the former president. In Hampton Falls, New Hampshire, Mark Meredith, Fox News.